the beaming white Cudahy Tower on the lakefront in downtown Milwaukee is a very definable landmark on the city skyline. It is also the home to one of the finest restaurants around. The sleek and stylish Bacchus just celebrated their 15 year anniversary. So come with me on a tour as I check out the new look and some signature dishes. All right, Paul, we are here in the brand new renovated Bacchus, which is gorgeous. I'm so excited to see more of this. But I think for people who aren't familiar with Art A Lot of Restaurants, just tell us a little bit about who you guys are as a family and a restaurant group. Sure, so my brother and I founded the company in 1993. Our first restaurant was Ristorante Bartolotta, a small little restaurant, 52 seat restaurant in Wauwatosa. Uh, today, we've now expanded between catering venues, um, quick casual dining, and of course, our fine dining collection. We're about 17 restaurants. Currently, we're in the process of going one restaurant at a time and renovating and refreshing them and our commitment to fine dining. Well, let's talk about the renovation because this was one of the last projects you worked on with your brother Joe. Talk a little bit about how that influence and that vision has come to be and what, what was really important to see happen. Sure. So very emotional, um, very heartfelt because obviously this is the last time that we will collaborate on a, on a project. Um, and we had long conversations about what we wanted this restaurant to evolve into. And a lot of it had to do with the fact that we are unwilling to compromise the ideals by which the restaurant was originated, but we wanted to redefine uh, fine dining for the market. Um, so we, we, we chose obviously very high-end materials. Uh, we spoke with our chef and said, we're not gonna change anything about our standard of quality uh, in our food selection and our service choreography and our service commitment to hospitality would not change. We were gonna elevate it, but we wanted a lighter, brighter, fresher, more vibrant environment. Uh, we wanted it to be maybe a little bit more fun because we yeah. think that fine dining today doesn't have to be so formal and doesn't have to be so long. It doesn't have stuffy. to be stuffy. Exactly. We weren't we we weren't going. We were actually working toward uh, making it a more vibrant environment. From everything from the details that you chose, these new coasters, the drinks. Are, these are staples on your menu. These yeah, two. we have a couple of beautiful cocktails that we're enjoying here. So I'm excited to see the rest because I do feel like everything is so bright. It's so exciting. Fresh. I want to check out the conservatory because it's my favorite room in all of Bacchus with all the windows. The conservatory. I love this place. It's so bright and beautiful. You've outdone yourself in here. Well, it was pretty easy because obviously you have the view of the lake. Mm -hmm. um, really, we didn't make a lot of changes in this room. Um, mostly the flooring we Which did. Which immediately you noticed. We added lots of greens, as you can see. Yes. We made it more modern, obviously, with the modern mm -hmm. light fixtures, the modern chairs. So we're we're really happy. The feedback has been amazing. Uh, we use this room predominantly for events, but there's also an overflow room for certain holidays or certain events that we do during the course of the year. All right, this room is my favorite, but also the food is my favorite. Now here I get to taste some in the dining area. Yes, yeah, so let's go into the dining room and we'll try it. All right, cheers. cheers. All right, we've transitioned into the beautiful dining room. I love it. While we're waiting for our food, I gotta know all the details that you've changed in here because I feel like it's more colorful and vibrant. Yeah, so so obviously my brother, you know, never lived within a budget, so of course <laughs> this super luxurious flooring that he put in. But it's he really, he, we added the skylight in here because we wanted to have an architectural element as well. Overall, it's much brighter. It's more, you know, brightly lit. Um, all the surfaces were touched. We literally touched every surface. So new ceiling, new walls, new trees new art, the new light, light fixtures, through. all light fixtures. Um, your wine wall is a staple. It's been here, but it's gotten a facelift as well. Well, you know what? It's it's obviously Bacchus, you know, the, the god of, of wine and such. So we... Is that who Bacchus yeah, is? Yeah, Bacchus, yeah. So we, I didn't know we, that. Yeah, so, we, so we were doubling down on our wine program. We expanded almost 100 new bottles uh, by, the, by, by the bottle. We went from like a dozen wines by the glass to over 30 wines by the glass. So we really expanded upon the, the overall program. I know you've got so many sommeliers here that can help you sort of go through the menu, but if you were to recommend one wine that everybody should try, do you have something that you could say? Wow, it's like asking what's your favorite know, child. Know. You know, there's so many, but I, I mean, honestly, we're, we're drinking bubbles right now. Okay. I, I love bubbles, so this is a beautiful rosé from Drapier, and we're serving it also by the glass. Try this, I, I so love it. So you would it. say this one? I, I, this is as good as it gets, as far as I'm concerned. I like concerned. the smell. It's a beautiful rosé, and it would really pair beautifully with Nick's octopus that you're going to try mm. right now. Today we have our grilled Spanish octopus. Um, it's a very Mediterranean inspired dish. We have uh, the, the octopus itself is from Spain and that's paired with a that's little beautiful. bit of uh, Calabri and chili vinaigrette, which is actually a Sicilian chili. I uh, also have some preserved lemon in there, and then a little bit of Moroccan influence with the hummus. It's delicious. Oh my gosh, that is good. Yeah. 
So is this something new? Because are you keeping a lot of the old stuff? I thought you were keeping a lot of the same stuff on the menu. Well, part of the things when Nick and I sat down to discuss a little bit about the menu for this restaurant, mm -hmm. we wanted to maintain the things that we were known for. Mm -hmm. So we have a, a menu that offers a lot of ways that the guests can order. So we have the uh, we have a $55 menu that has an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert, which is sort of a the classic sort of signature items that the restaurant's been known for. In addition, we expanded the a la carte menu, so there's plenty of a la carte options. And in the last few years, Nick was experimenting with a more formal, longer tasting menu. That's an $85 menu, and he goes crazy with that, uh, and that's available all the time as well. So there's a lot of different ways you can dine in this restaurant. So for, uh, for our, our second course here, we have a, a Wagyu flat iron dish, which is um, kind of an, an Asian influence dish. Um, we have a little bit of uh, Japanese influence with the togarashi seasoning and the shishito peppers. And then we have a little bit of uh, Chinese influence uh, with the sauce on there. So we're drinking this, the Joseph Phelps? We, yes, this is a wonderful uh, Joseph Phelps Cabernet. It's, yes, so on uh, the 14th great of November. I mean, this is going to be a wine dinner with Joseph Phelps, so this should match real, really well with the uh, flat iron. The best ever. So, I mean, you, you guys do this perfect. This is incredible. Thank so, you. So we keep them another week? You can I still have them. a job? You All still right. have a job. You're hired. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You're hired. I mean, it was a tough job, but somebody had to do Mom, it. Mom, why didn't I get that assignment? <laughs> Sorry. Paul wanted us to let you know as well that during November and December, when you purchase a $100 Bartolotta gift card, you receive a $20 holiday bonus card for yourself. Nice. I mean, you can give it as a gift, but you should give the gift well, to yourself. Why would you? And of course, Bacchus <laughs> is part of the Bartolotta Restaurant Group. You can learn more at BacchusMKE.com or make your reservation, uh, reservation today by calling 414-765-1166. Beautiful and delicious food, too. Yeah.